everyone. Welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith here tonight with Braden Repold, Ben Roberts, Kevin Murphy, Tyler Wolkowitz. He's right behind me. Tom Alber, Isaac Warmgore, all the rest of the FCAT crew. Thank you all so much for tuning in tonight. I'd like to take a brief moment to remind you, tonight's FCAT Sports Broadcast is supported by Albert Hearing Services, improving lives one year at a time, and Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. They are still, they're up and running right now. My boy Happy Safford is on his shift right now, so go out and order some Holiday Pizza. Show him some love. Watch the stream. Oh, yeah. So, we got a really exciting game here for you guys tonight in Goodnow Gymnasium. It's a home game for the Red Hawks. They're playing against the Hampshire Raiders. Going to be a pretty, I think it's a pretty evenly matched game, Brayden. Absolutely. Um, Frontier, uh, they're coming off of a win streak right now. They have won the past three games. Um, they have a record of 6-6, six and six. so this is huge for them. They haven't uh, had over a 500 win percentage this whole season, so if they can win tonight, that'll be the first time they can do that. Uh, and they're already, they've made quite a climb from, uh, they were ranked 42nd in their division, mm. and now they're ranked 25th. And uh, just a reminder for anyone that's been tuned in for a little bit of a longer time, just heard me say this a couple times, top 32 teams in the division get into the state's tournament. So Frontier Boys is in that right now. Um, and hopefully they can keep that going uh, with a win tonight against the 8-6 and six Raiders who um, have had a couple rough games. Uh, they've lost by some reasonable margins but also won by some pretty reasonable margins. It's just kind of up and down. I wasn't able to see any like really big hot streaks for them. It was very yeah. interesting. I mean, Mason, it's definitely a big game for Frontier statistically and as far as their record goes. So hopefully we're yeah. going to see some good playing out there by Frontier tonight. Absolutely, and a couple little player shout-outs here. We got uh, some big scorers on Frontier. Owen Babb, he's got 173 on the season, uh, 142 to Max Millette, and Nico Fasulo has 133. They are the three captains of the Red Hawks, and we're going to be watching Max Millette. He has uh, recently come off of a concussion, uh, but he's been playing strong, and my bets are he's going to break 150 tonight. He's averaging almost 12 points a game, which is just phenomenal he had a, a much higher uh, points per game before his concussion he missed like three games i think and that really wow. knocked down some of his numbers but he's rebounding very well and um yeah hampshire is looking to keep things going for them i wasn't able to find where they were uh ranked in their division but they're ranked second in their conference right now okay so they've been having a pretty good season so far overall i mean they have that over 500 win record but um i mean something we, we just watched the jv game something that we were talking about was uh, frontier looking for that uh outlet pass Definitely, driving you know yeah. driving into the paint is what you were saying and then passing it back out yeah i mean um after watching Hampshire's JV game, they had a very tall center, and they just kept kind of go for, like, layups and stuff, and they would often leave a man open out on three, so I was just hoping they would see the pass and be able to get a point off of that, but no, they just kept trying to go for lays, and hopefully we'll see some improvement and learn from that during this game. Yeah, so we're going to go to the starting lines in the National Anthem. We will be right back with the tip-off between the Red Hawks and the Raiders.
After that wonderful rendition by the Frontier Pep Band, that's what you call it, right? Yeah, yep. Pep Band. So it's great to see them out tonight. It's great to see this crowd. Um, you can see it on the camera right now. We got a good turnout. They're following the theme. Uh, it's always great to see that. You know, we've had a couple ups and downs with uh, the turnout um, throughout the whole year, but. No promises. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll try. We'll try our best. All right. So we got the starting lineups, and they're taking the court right now. I mean, there's no surprise there. I mean, Owen Babb, he's been on a pretty hot streak in his games recently, scoring some crazy amounts of points, and he's going to win the tip-off for the Red Hawks. Fans stand up as Nico Fasulo takes across half court. Millette back to Fasulo. And now the Dragon in the corner. Double team, cross the court. Ellis fakes the pass to Millette, and now Millette in the corner. Max Millette being double teamed. He's got to get it off, and Ellis is there. Vasulo back to Millette. In the baseline, shot's no good, and the rebound is going to go to, that's number 10, Liam Pond. Good pass along the baseline there, but Babb's going to rip it away. Jump ball is called. I think it'll... Day. Yeah, it'll stay Hampshire. So that's going to be Adam Galasinski taking it. Out to Resin. Up at the top, Pond. Back to Resin. He's up against the Dragon. Pass to the corner. Doesn't want the three, but it'll go back out to Resin. He's looking for a pass. Scanning, dribbling now. Gets it over to his teammate, Braylon Jarrett. And now Jarrett for three. Oof, hits the rim. That was a good look. We were talking earlier in the uh, JV game, Braden, about uh, the really nice form we've been seeing from Hampshire. Definitely. <clears throat> I mean, like, after seeing some of the jump shots from Hampshire, they definitely have good form. So that might mean they may be banging out some good shots here, but we're definitely having to watch and see. Yeah, I think th uh, the thing that Frontier needs to be keeping in mind is the possibility of just how dangerous uh, of a shooter this team might be. But Fasulo puts up a three from the corner. That doesn't go. The rebound is going to go again. It's a Liam Bond. And now in the corner. Didn't want it. Pass in. And he's going to get fouled on his way up. Galasinski doing a good job. Foul is going to be on... I think they put up a... I thought they put up a 23, but I'm not sure. That's There's no number 23 on the Red Ox. So yeah. I must be seeing things. Just waiting for them to put it up on the scoreboard right now. And it's still a scoreless game. First foul will go to the Red Hawks, and that's going to be on Max Millette. First shot is good for Galasinski. You know, Mason, after watching a possession or two, I definitely can see that uh, Hampshire's defense is pretty strong. I mean, they definitely pressure the ball a lot, making it hard to make quick decisions. So they definitely got a solid defense down there. Absolutely. You know, that's going to be something that Frontier is going to have to work on. And first quarter is always a slow start for both teams, kind of feeling the other team out. And Millette with a three. That's not going to go. Rebound. Jack Rezin is there for the Raiders. Good pass in. Now he's going to look to hand it back over. And Babb gets the steal. Owen oh, Babb, oh, he loses his dribble, and it goes right back. But he'll step out of bounds. Oh, no, he's knocked out by Babb. Or no, he did step out. <laughs> back and forth. So the Red Hawks retain possession. Fasulo takes it up. Pass over to the Dragon. Across the court to Millette in the paint. Goes up. Oh, a little bit too much juice on that shot. I think that was Rezin on the rebound, and he's taking it up now. Rezin can't get the pass off, and now he'll find Ben Pierce. And now in the corner, it'll go to the Red Hawks. Great defense for Max Millette. <coughs> you know, Mason, I think Frontier is returning that um, energy that Hampshire's having right now. I'm definitely seeing some a lot of fast moving and definitely some aggressive defense here. I think they're defending phenomenally right now, honestly. Yeah, I think that also uh, that fast pace, and that's also, oh, and look at this. This is going to be, a, oh, not quite a steal, 
for Rezin as Millette moves back. Pass into Ellis, and he loses the ball. It'll stay Red Hawks. And what I was saying, Braden, was I think that um, timeout's going to be called there by uh, Coach Morse. Um, that consistency of moving fast and staying fast throughout the whole game is, and it, it has been an issue for the Red Hawks. Specifically, uh, I mean, for both teams, that was something we were talking to uh, Coach Michon about a little bit um, with the girls' game last night. Um, but even for this boys' team, I think that along with the injuries that they've had this season, we can also credit uh, a lot of their close losses to that lack of um, energy consistency throughout the whole game. Like, they have their ups and downs, and they let the team come back and stay in the game. Yeah, Mason, I think just kind of like off of what you were saying, it's all about consistency, and sometimes Frontier just doesn't have what it takes to clutch the match here and there. So because of that, they've lost a few matches, and I think the key to just keeping a, stall a steady pace is just being consistent, making your shots, playing defense like that, and that's about it. Yeah, I mean, I think basketball is more of a mental game than people give it credit for, and that's a, definitely a big mental aspect. Just not pushing yourself too hard out of the gate and, you know, like we've been saying, just keeping that pace at a good, steady rate and Frontier with the inbounds, the Dragons there to take it, looking for someone all the way out to half court. It's Millette. Now Fasulo, Ellis in the corner. Good coverage from the Raiders. Cross the court, Dragicevic. The Dragon gets it in to Bab, but it's going to be taken away. Braylon Jarrett, good feed, and Rezin with the layup. Three point lead for the Raiders right now. Oh, and look at that pass from Fasulo. Bab can't finish it, rebound. There it is. That's going to be Owen Bab's first rebound of the night. And the first points for the Red Hawks, too. Hampshire with possession now. Gets it into the paint. Rezin fighting for it. Throws it back out. And foul is going to be called on the shot. Doesn't go in. I think that's going to be on the lead again. I believe so. So, yeah, that is going to be Millette's second foul. But I thought that they would... Morse just called for a sub. I thought he was going to sub Millette out for the fouls, but he subs Ellis out instead. Ball is tipped by the Dragon. Bab almost gets it. And a kick ball is called. Good scramble calls there by the Red Hawks. Nice confusion. They're definitely playing very fast place, which I think is key in defense right now. So see if they can keep it up. Definitely. I mean, making your uh, opponent work for it throughout the whole game. And I mean, it can be a strategy to tire them out, but you know, again, keeping in mind your own energy reserves and not tiring yourself out. Pass into the paint, good movement, the layup not there, and a foul is gonna be called. That's gonna be on Aiden Hawking, I think. Yep, there it is, and so, Hawking picks up his first and his team's first. Fasulo taking it up. He's being double teamed right now. But now he gets to the arc. Cross the court to Millette. A little bit too far for him. Gets into the corner. The Dragon. Fasulo, a bit of a bad pass. Has to recover quickly. And his cross court pass is intercepted. That's Liam Pond with the ball right now. Picks up his dribble. Got to pass it. There it is in the corner. And now on the sideline, right in front of the frontier bench. Back in the paint. Jumper. That goes, Liam Pond getting his first points and extending the lead of the Raiders. Bab gets the pass. Dragicevic for three. Bang! Wow. First three of the night for the Red Hawks. The crowd's definitely going crazy right now. Tie game, 5-5. Five, five. Now Hawking had to pass it out. Back at the top, it's Liam Pond. Pond feeds it in. Great play. And now that's Cole Kologi getting his first points of the night. Seven to five, the Dragon with the ball. Back out to Millette. In the corner, he's got Fasulo. Dredge has a little bit of room, doesn't want the shot. The Dragon for three again. That's good, he's two for two. That's gonna bring the Frontier Red Hawks up 1.87 right now. They got a press going, they'll get the pass into Pond. 
Now it's Vince Carr up against Babb. And he blocks him. Oh, man. Beautiful block by Owen Babb. And it's a turnover, too. The Red Hawks get the ball. What an incredible defensive stand from the big man on the court, Owen Babb. Absolutely, Mason. I feel like Owen Babb is a necessity almost on defense. With his height and his strength, it's just amazing to have him down there in the court. Absolutely. It's a good thing he's a pretty clean player, too. Otherwise, you know, you don't want a guy like that fouling out. Now Max Millette spinning around, gets the jumper, no good. And no one's there for the rebound except for the Raiders. Now Hawking into the corner. It's Jarrett looking for a pass. He's up against Dredge. Takes it back up to the top. Kologi hands it off. Jarrett into the corner for three too far. And Dragicevic is there. And that's the exact kind of play that we were talking about earlier that JV wasn't doing, Braden. And unfortunately, Hampshire couldn't quite connect on this play. Dredge takes the three in the corner. Oh, man. Wow. I think that's three threes in a row for the Red Hawks. Indeed it is. I mean, we're definitely shooting great out here. Hopefully we can keep this up. I wonder if we're going to be able to see a lot of Owen Babb tonight, some good plays in the paint. But now Hampshire has the ball. Jarrett with the drive to the basket. Whoa, what a play. He cashes it in and makes it a two-point game. Now Fasulo, stutter step, goes up. Goes off the side of the backboard and barely getting it off is Aiden Hawking. It's a good thought, just no one really there to get the rebound either. I think that's going to be, it's always been a bit of a problem for the Hawks at the start of their game, I think, and hopefully they can pick up that pace a little bit better. Great coverage from Dredge. Dragicevic knocks it loose, and Hawking's shot doesn't go. Now Fasulo moving it the other way. We got a minute left in the first quarter. Time flies, and Max Millette pulls it to a stop in the corner. Fasulo, he's got Dredge on the other side, takes the three, two for two, no. But Millette is there for the rebound. Into Babb for the two points, he gets it. Beautiful skyhook by Owen Babb. Honestly, Mason, especially on defense when I'm seeing a lot of aggressiveness, I think it's paying off. Absolutely, <laughs> and it's gonna force a timeout on, from Hampshire. Frontier implementing a very effective press so far. It's definitely intimidating the um, Raiders right now and they have a four-point lead. Before we go to a quick break, we're going to thank our sponsors one more time. Tonight's FCAT Sports broadcast is supported by Albert Hearing Services, improving lives one year at a time, and Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. We have 46 seconds left in the first quarter. We'll be back in just a few moments. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television. Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. We're coming off of a timeout taken by the Hampshire Raiders who are down by four right now. That's Cole Kologi, one of the three captains for the Raiders, inbounding it, trying to break through the press of the Red Hawks. Rezin is with it, working against Modesto, his first time in the court tonight. Now the pass goes to Vince Carr. Fasulo breaking it up. It's loose and it'll go to the Red Hawks. You know, Mason, I think just going back to what I was saying, we're seeing a lot of aggressiveness by Frontier on defense, which is definitely paying off. The only thing I'm worrying about is if we're playing too aggressive, then it might lead to some casualties on our defense and get scored on. So yeah, hopefully definitely. we can keep this up. Or maybe even some fouls, get yourself in foul trouble. That's something you definitely don't want, especially early in the game. And look at this feed from Bab to Fasulo in the paint. He gets fouled. Speaking of fouls, now with 16.9 to go, Hampshire's going to get their third team foul, or excuse me, their second. And it's actually Aiden Hawking's second. He has both team fouls right now. And at the line, Sula's first shot is no good. Yeah. 
Second shot is. Fans sitting down right now with 10 to go. Handoff at the top of the arc. Again, it's loose. Dredge is there to pick it up. He's got five seconds to make something happen. Fasulo at half court. Can he get open? Dredge. Oh, Trigisevich, I meant. That's my bad. But pulls <laughs> off the shot at the end just a little bit short. And so that'll be the first quarter. Oh, we got a foul call. I didn't even see that. Wow. I think the ref's whistle happened at the same time as the buzzer. So, or at least they're discussing it right now. The dragon definitely looks confused with himself. Yeah, so he, duck, he took that from a pretty deep three range. So he's got three shots to make with double zero on the clock right now for the first quarter. The Dragons first is no good. And now some fans standing up, look at that. See, they're bringing it back, Tom. They got the wings going in the crowd. I mean, as we know, Mason, it's definitely a pet peeve of yours when we have a, safe to say, a low crowd when there's not many people here and just not cheering us on. And definitely when there's more people, the energy of our team goes up and I feel like it Absolutely. boosts up more our morality and just makes us play better overall. Yeah, I so mean, I, I wrote a whole essay about it in AP Lang. Glad to hear. I mean, it's <laughs> always great to have a big crowd here at Frontier. Absolutely. And I mean, you're saying one of my pet peeves is a small crowd. Even more of a pet peeve than that is when you have a big crowd, but they aren't doing anything and they're on their phones the whole game. Absolutely. It's just, but we're seeing some people in the front really getting into it, which is great. And we've got the cheerleaders out on the court right now. And while they're doing that, Brain's going to do a quick score and recap in between the first and second quarter. Absolutely. So for Frontier, we have Nico Fasula with one point, Garrett Dredge with three, Owen Babb with four, and Sasha Dragon with six. And for Hampshire, we have Jack Resin. Resin. Yeah. Thank you, Mason, with two. No problem. Uh, we have Cole Kologi with two. Uh, Braylon Jarrett with two as well, Liam Pond with two, and Adam Golesinski with one. And uh, after seeing those scores, Mason, I got to see that Hampshire is definitely spreading out their scores throughout their players, which I think is good to see. They're definitely giving a lot of people a chance with the ball to score, and I think that's great to see, especially in a, such a team sport here. Absolutely. I mean, like, exactly what you were saying, Brayden. To me, that's showing, like, you know, that's some good passing that they're having, good um, team chemistry good sportsmanship that they have between each other. And also, the other advantage that gives them is if we see a player foul out, you know, it's not going to be one of their key players that's going to be scoring all of their points, and then you're at an even bigger advantage, which right now, if the Dragon were to foul out for Frontier, for example, that's their lead scorer right now. You really don't want that. And here's the drive to the basket. Oh, man. Galasinski getting two more. And now it's a four-point game. Modesto in the corner, into Bab. Oh, I think he's going to, he might get called for a foul there. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yep. It's going to be a turnover, unfortunately. Now Frontier pulling off their press. That's Jarrett with the ball, working against Dredge. Got to pass it now. He picked up his dribble over to Resin. Takes it, the lane, and that's good. Again, some great movement on Hampshire's offense, and the Dragon has all day for the three. Count it. Well, he's definitely shooting good tonight, Mason. That's going to be his ninth ninth point this game with three threes. He's shooting three for three, I believe, on tenth, the three-point range. Tenth, actually, because he, he got the free throw, so that's going to be his tenth. And, yeah, he's definitely on a hot streak. This is a great game for him so far. Let's see if he can keep it up. And he's on defense right now up against um, – that was Resin he was playing against. Resin back with the ball after the handoff. And he – I believe he draws the foul. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he'll go to the line. And that's going to be the first foul on Dragicevich. I'm pretty sure it's on Dragicevich anyway. Yes, it is. <laughs> the crowd throws him off. Definitely, yeah. I mean, it's interesting thing to do during a game, but at the same time, great to see the energy from Frontier. Oh, yeah. 
Good to see the six man back. You know, they, they've been coming and going throughout this whole season and we got a good presence here tonight. Resin's second shot is not stopped. He'll be shooting one for two right there. And now Millette is back out on the court. Draws up the play. Oh, almost gets over the half court line there. And now Ellis in the corner. Passes it away to the Dragon. Gets covered quick by Rezin. Oh, and look at that. Oh, it doesn't quite go. Rebound. Loose. Modesto had it for a second, and now it's loose still. The Dragon almost had it. They were diving for it, but that's going to go to Rezin. Rezin finishes the job, and look at him. He's on a hot streak, too. Wow. Starting to rack up some points there for Hampshire. I believe he's their lead scorer right now, right? Yes, he is with seven, and now Millette. Trying to make something happen on the other end with a two-point game now. Spin around, got to get a pass off. No one's open, and now the Dragon is. Thought about the shot, didn't want it. Ellis, Ooh. and now the pass into Bab. Oh, look at the feet to Modesto, fade away. Just a little too short. And now Risen falls down, loses the ball. Millette scoops it up, gets the steal, and now he's going the other way. Could pass it out to Bab if he wants, but he takes the shot. No good. Rebounds will go to Hampshire. Frontier's struggling a little bit right now, Braden. Yeah, I mean, they had a little bit of a lead, but now it's slowly coming back. It's currently a two-point gain. 18-16 yeah. to 16 Frontier on top right now. And I think that the big thing that I'm seeing that could very well be a cause of this is no points on the board for our big guy, Max Millette, he, I, he's one of the leading scorers. He's got um, 142, I think we said, on the season. Yeah, 142, and he's looking to break 50, uh, 150 tonight. And Bab rejects the pass. It'll stay Hampshire's ball, but a great defensive play from him. And as I was saying, you know, it, he's not, he's, he's being more of a team player right now. He's passing it away, trying to find other people that are more open than he is. Uh, and I think that Hampshire's doing a good job of locking him up. I believe that was out of bounds. Yeah, stepped out when he caught it. One thing I am seeing though, Mason, the last, I would say, possession or two is Frontier's taking a lot of forced shots, which leads them to be, the shots to be kind of bad. So I feel like if they took their time a little more, they might be able to get a more open shot and have a better chance of scoring. Absolutely, and look at the screen from Bab. Millette puts up the three. That's no good. And I think that actually might have hit the top of the backboard. I believe it did, that's what, what they call it. Yeah. So now Frontier sort of, sort of putting on a press. Minimal press, not quite as strong as they were before, but Hampshire gets it over half court. Pond got to pass it in, and Bab intercepts the pass, gets the steal, and now back to Millette. Max Millette taking it up, 440 on the clock. In the corner, Dredge takes the three. Little short, and Bab isn't quite there for the rebound. They'll go the other way. Pond passes it forward. In the corner now, working his way back, Pond at the top of the arc. He's up against Modesto. And now Vince Carr spinning around, hands it off. Kologi back to Pond. Kologi moves to the corner. Pond almost traveled there, caught himself. Kologi will travel. Seen a lot of good defense from Frontier right now. They're definitely playing aggressive, staying on their man, keeping it up, and they're uh, they're crowned them once they go to the paint, which is a good thing to see. But also when you do that, you got to watch out for three-point range. If they're smart enough to pass it out, then it could be a really dangerous play there. Absolutely. And they've done that before. So two screens up top for Millette. He's moving around. And now pass into Bab. He grabs it, puts it up. No good. Rebound. No good as well. Modesto fighting for it. And he goes down. What's the call going to be from the refs? I think it's going to be on Modesto. Yeah, that'll be Frontier's third foul, his first of the game. And so now Pawn moving it up to the arc, slows it down, pass in, and wide open. Oh, man. That was not a good play for the Red Hawks, Mason. That's what I'll no. say right there. Hawking just, he saw a big hole there in the paint, and he took a huge advantage there. Ellis into Bab, out to Dredge in the corner for three. Oh, just a little bit too far. Bab back out to Ellis, into the paint, takes the layup short. Bab on the rebound, doesn't go. 
batting around, and one! I think they're counting it. Let's see if they do count it, it'll be 20 to 18, I think. Yep, there it is. Yep. So the big man gets six on the night, could make it seven. He's also leading in rebounds with six right now, I believe. It's no surprise there. <laughs> Absolutely now, not. At the line, there it is, a three-point play. The three is good from Braylon Jarrett. Well, how about that, man? Mason, is that the first three we've seen for Hampshire? It very well might be. Dredge fakes the three, swings it back out to Millette. He has some time, but gets it over to the Dragon. Millette back with it now. Jumper for two. Not going to go just a little it. short. Rebound being fought for, and Risen gets the pass off. Pass in Bab. Oh, and look at this. It's a turnover. Bab started that chain reaction there, and oh, man. Millette goes down hard, and the foul is going to be called on Vince Carr. Frontier you know, fans calling for a technical. <laughs> Gotta love the crowd, Mason. I mean, I think Millette is a great player, very physical player, but the thing is he's able to get hit and then just get back up after that. He's very strong, yeah. and I think he has a great mentality when coming into this match. Absolutely. He's really resilient, and uh, Frontier's going to take a timeout right now. It's a tie game, 21-21. Hampshire's staying right with the Red Hawks, and uh, we've had a couple players really hit some hot streaks right now. The Dragon with 10. Uh, Owen Babb getting a couple points uh, more. He's got seven on the night. And on the other side, matching Babb with seven is Jack Rezin right behind him. Braylon Jarrett hit that. Um, I think, yeah, he was the one who hit that. I think that was a moving shot too, that three, which is even more impressive. So he's got five on the night. Um, and the foul count, I mean, Frontier got to watch out a little bit, I think. They got, uh, I mean, for the team fouls in this quarter, they're looking at three right now. And yeah. I mean, how, how are they, how's uh, Hampshire looking on their uh, free throw percentage right now, Brayden? Um, Hampshire's looking like they're shooting about 50% right now, Mason. They've, all of their free throw shooters have shot one for two right now. All right. Not terrible, but not the best. Yeah, so I mean, still 50% of the time, they're gonna make you pay for those fouls if you send them into the bonus territory. Yeah. So, you know, we'll see if the Hawks can keep the lead right now. They've, they've maintained the lead for the entire game, I think, except for uh, the very, very start when Hampshire pulled ahead with, uh, I think it was like three point, it was like three to zero right in the beginning, but Frontier came back on top and now it's a tie game, Millett, trying to get the lead back for the Hawks. Pass over to Fasulo, didn't want the three. Back to Millette. He takes the baseline, layup is good, and there's Max Millette's first points of the game. Takes the Hawks up by two. Owen oh, Fasulo tips the ball. Pond with some time in the corner. Vince Carr moves in, slings it into the crowd, and it goes all the way up to the top. Wow. <laughs> Quite the pass there, Mason. <laughs> <laughs> and the poor girls up at the top of the stands and <laughs> had their hearts skip a beat there. They're just fastball straight to your face. Thankfully, no one's hurt. But now Millette getting the screen from Fasulo passes it in to Bab. The lob is good. I feel like Bab is just such a dominant player, both on offense and defense, it's mainly in the paint. It's just so easy to get a pass in the paint, or it's so easy to defend on defense. Absolutely. He's such a huge playmaker, and I mean, it's really, oh, and look at this, just a bit of a bad pass there. Our cameraman, Tom Alber, going to be kicking it back into play for the refs. And as I was saying, I mean, he puts a lot of pressure on the other team on defense and then he makes those nice uh, layups and those rebounds that you need um, on the other side of the court. And now Millette might get a screen from Bab, and he does to the key, and travel's gonna be called. Millette doesn't like that, but. Nor does the frontier crowd. Yeah. Now Hampshire going the other way. Pond to the baseline, layup no good, Risen. 
foul. A push is called on Risen. And you know, I don't know about that, Braden. He had the ball in his hands and I, you know. Definitely a few interesting calls so far, but. They have been calling them both ways so far. We got um, three team fouls uh, on both sides. The Dragon for three, that won't go. That breaks his streak, but Frontier still up by four. Risen, Bab is right there to shut that down. Gets the pass off though. And now Risen in the corner, doesn't want the three. Moves in past Bab, gets the layup. One minute to go, Millet takes it up. Spin move into the paint, crowded, and they call him for a travel. Interesting. And the Frontier crowd also not happy with that call. A lot of bodies in the way. The call definitely could have gone either way. Absolutely. Now Pond slings it in. The basket is good. I believe that was from Galazinski. Now Millette, 40 to go. Back to Millette from Ellis. He takes it to the arc. Got to pass it. Oh, he'll shoot. Oh, mm. I thought that was good. Now Me the too. shot clock is off as Risen passes it right into the hands of Millette. What a steal. Now he's going for the layup. That's good. What a play, Mason. What a play. 20 seconds. Slowing it down is Jarrett. Pass over to Ben Pierce. Pierce. Gets double teamed, got to pass it off. Pond, 10 to go. Let's see if he can get the buzzer beater. Risen with it now. In the corner, Pierce. Back out to Risen for three. No Take good. <laughs> Just a little bit short on that last one. Hawks have the lead right now at the end of the half by just two points. It's a close so, game, Mason. Yeah, I mean... Frontier kind of pulled away in that uh, first quarter. Uh, they had a bit of a stronger lead, but Hampshire was able to stay with the Hawks for the entire second quarter, uh, really making them work for that lead uh, tie game for most of it, honestly. Definitely, um, yeah. And a great job by Max Millet, uh, again, that layup in the last few seconds to help them uh, pull ahead and go into the locker room leading the game right now. Because, you know, that's a big uh, mentality thing. you got to make sure that you're yeah. feeling good going into the locker room. So uh, we're going to the halftime right now with the lead scorer overall still the Dragon. Even though he hasn't scored that much yet, he still is leading with 10 points on the night. Owen Babb right behind him with nine. And on the other side of the court, it's Jack Rezin with nine as well, leading the Hampshire Raiders. Now... Brayden, you've been talking about uh, some kind of fast-paced defense. Do you think that that's still the move that uh, Frontier should be looking for to continue uh, to lead this game? Honestly, I mean, it would help, but I don't think that's what they need. I think what they just need is to stay on their man and just really guard them as much as they can because they're definitely working them around, a lot of quick passes being seen, and they're leaving a lot of people open down to the paint. So I think what Frontier really needs to focus on is just find a person and stay on them, guard them as to the best of your ability, honestly. So are, do you think that they should uh, run a man, like man-on-man -man defense instead of uh, running a zone? I think they should. I mean, if, if it's obvious somebody's going to take a layup or something like that, definitely crash the center. But sure. as of right now, they're leaving too many people open in the center and the paint, and they're just getting a lot of easy points from that. Absolutely. A quick, a quick pass from the top of the key, and it's just two easy points for Hampshire. So yeah, Frontier definitely has to keep a lookout for that. Yeah, speaking of that, a great example of that was when Aiden Hawking, he did just no one – like in that little um, pocket in the paint, just right under the net. No mm. one was there. He saw the opening, went right there, got the pass, easy two points. His only points of the game right now, but it was some uh, well-earned points. I mean, it was just great awareness from uh, him on his part. And uh, Hampshire's doing a great job of uh, reading the plays that Frontier is putting together and uh, how they're trying to stay in this game. Staying with them so far, but we'll see how that plays out when we come back in the second half of this game. It's 27 to 25. Before we go, we'd like to remind you that tonight's FCAT Sports Broadcast is supported by Albert Hearing Services. Albert Hearing Services in Greenfield offers hearing evaluations, hearing aid sales, earwax removal, and more. They are committed to improving lives one ear at a time. Call 413-774-0100 or visit alberthearing.com and Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. 27-25, Hawks on top by two at the half. 
We will be right back. You're watching Frontier Community Access Television.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. I'm Mason Smith, still here with Brayden Repold, Ben Roberts, Kevin Murphy, Tom Albert, Tyler Wolkowitz, Isaac Warmgore, Max Warmgore, all the rest of the FCAT crew. Thank you all so much for sticking with us, tuning back in. We got a great game happening here tonight, folks, in Good Now Gymnasium. It's 27-25. Your home team, the Frontier Red Hawks, is up by two, but they have a very worthy competitor on the other side of the court right now. It's the Hampshire Raiders. Um, who have been putting up some outstanding numbers so far tonight. And, Brayden, how do you think that Hampshire has been able to stick with the Red Hawks so far in the game? I mean, one thing I want to say is that I think at the beginning, Frontier's defense was pretty solid, but then at the end, it's just sort of falling down. And the, they didn't really guard much in the paint, and uh, Hampshire is able to capitalize off of that. They'd get a man down in the paint, they'd pass it from the top of the key, get an easy layup. So, and they just kept repeating that process. So hopefully Frontier can capitalize on that and stand a man and be able to defend them better. Yeah, totally. We'll see what kind of defense they are going to be playing when they come off of halftime. And they are taking the court right now. Max Millette is out there. He got a couple of late points in the half. Um, he right now has 146 on the season. Just needs four more to cash in 150. So we'll see if he can get some points early. They will start with the ball. Fasulo gets the inbound pass. Bab trying to set a screen to the top. Hampshire reads it. And now the Dragon across the court. Millette in the corner. It's Ellis into Bab, and it gets taken away by Risen. Jack Risen slows it back down. Thought about the three, didn't want it for three in the corner. That's no good. And the Dragon is there for the rebound. Fasulo going to take it up. Back to Fasulo. He takes the three. Drains Man. It. It's a good night for Frontier on threes today, Mason. I'll say that for sure. Oh, yeah. The Dragon is three for four right now on his three-point shots, and I'm expecting him to take plenty more of those. Me as well. I'm hoping to see some more threes from Frontier because clearly they're shooting just fine. So Yeah. It's not, if it's not broke, don't change it. And now a three to answer is no good from Liam Pond. He's had a pretty good game, too. A lot of good passing from him. Fasulo doesn't look to the other side, but the Dragon takes a three. Doesn't go. Millette, one-handed rebound. Oh, man. Beautiful rebound. Now Amazing he, put back, too. Oh, yeah. Now he's just got he's one basket away from breaking 150. I think he's going to do it, Mason. Oh, yeah. He definitely is. We're in the third quarter. He's two points away. We're, he's definitely going to do it. Now a bad pass from Adam Galazinski. And now up to Millette. Does he want the three? Jab step. Got to pass it now or shoot it. Fasulo has a little bit of room at the arc. The Dragon could pass it out to Ellis in the corner. He takes the layup, no good. And now Risen's going to go the other way with it. Frontier pulling away right now, 32 to 25. Hampshire hasn't been able to penetrate through the defense. And Bab, what a block on Ben Pierce. Passes it off to Fasulo. Now the Dragon. Doesn't want the three, takes it in, pass over to Bab in the paint. Back to the Dragon, could pass it out. Takes the fadeaway, and that's gonna be short. Bab recovers on the rebound. Two more for Owen Bab, and that's gonna be a timeout called by the Raiders early in the third quarter as Frontier is now up by nine. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's a great game for Owen Bab so far, not by surprise, but yeah. he's leading the entire game in both rebounds and steals, so. yeah. And I'm he, sure he has plenty of points to go along with that, Mason. Yeah, he has 11 points. He actually, he's also leading the game in points. Wow, yeah. He has 11 points, and uh, the closest player to him is the Dragon. Um, so Frontier really in a great position for themselves right now, coming out strong off a of halftime. And, you know, we said it in uh, the game last night against East Hampton. You come out strong and you make the other team come from behind. It's it's hard to do that, um, especially when you have such a dominating center as Owen Babb, who can so really he just, like I mean we saw him make a block in the first two minutes of this second half. He can make anything happen if he really sets his mind to it. And so the Hawks up by nine right now. And I mean, what do you think, Brayden? What do you think? Um, the Raiders need to do to climb back into this game, which they've been able to do so far. 
I mean, honestly, they've been working Frontier on, down on defense pretty good. They pass in the ball quickly. Like I've mentioned a few times, they were able to get an open man down in the paint. I'm assuming they're going to try to go for that again, which wouldn't be a bad idea, but it's going to be hard, especially with Owen Babb in the paint too. He's just been absolutely dominant this game, so it's going to be interesting to try and see their strategy of coming back here. Absolutely, and a whistle's going to be blown. That might be a foul on Alex Ellis. Yeah, yep. it will. Did you see what the call was, Braden? I don't know. May have been a pushing foul. I'd imagine so. The pass deflected by Millette. He's going the other way with it now. Takes it himself, and he wanted a foul on that. It's not going to get it, though. Fortunately not. And the ball will go to... Oh, it'll stay Frontier's ball. All right, there was some confusion there for a moment. The crowd needs to get back on their feet. Dredge opening the corner, but Millette looks to Ellis at the top. Fasulo has Millette to his left. Pass to him for three. Oh, no good. And now Fasulo gets the rebound. He takes the wide open three. That's a little bit too much power on that one. And the energy is dropped in Goodnow Gymnasium. The fans, and oh man, what a play from Millette. Gets back up, and now foul is going to be called. I th that was on Hampshire. I didn't see the player that they called it on, but they'll put it up on the scoreboard in a moment. I mean, one thing's for sure, Mason. Uh, Maletta has had two steals in the past two possessions. That's bringing him up to the steal leader of the entire game with five steals currently. I know, I'm not sure. Okay. Sorry, excuse me. Anyway, Millette with the ball. Puts it into Ellis. Nice oh, pass. look at that. Looks like Frontiers returning what Hampshire did to them, Mason. Open in the paint, easy pass in the key. Easy and look, oh my God. Oh, I think that might stay Hampshire. I believe yeah. it will. Great effort by Millette. He even tried bouncing it off of the other player out of bounds. Definitely. I mean, he's definitely it. giving it his all this game. We've seen a lot of energy and just momentum coming from him, and I'd love to see it, honestly. Yeah, I mean, that's what he does every game, Braden. And he's back on defense now in the paint and getting tripped up a little bit as Vince Carr got to pass it off, finds his man. That's Braylon Jarrett. Jarrett trying to find a lane, and he's going to get called for a travel. He is astounded. I don't know who took that shot, but that was good. <laughs> that, was, that was a nice three. It's a shame it didn't count, but. Now Garrett Dredge is back out on the court for the Red Hawks. I think it was the Dragon who came off. Millet with the ball, though. Gets it taken away from him. Risen moving the other way. Fasulo's there, but he can't make the block. Risen with 11 points on the night now. Moving fast the other way. Ellis doesn't want the three. Gets open and loses the ball. Stays in bounds. Recovering. It's Bab. Great job by the Hawks. No shocker there, Mason. And now the lead extended even more for Frontier. Pass back out. Handoff to Liam Pond. Pond passes it straight Ooh. into the chest of Fasulo. He's all alone. The layup is good. Timeout is going to be called again from the Raiders and the Hawks have pretty much, let's see, what was the score? It was 27-25 uh, at the half. Now, Frontier has scored 13 points compared to Hampshire's two yeah. in, the, in, the, in the third quarter so far, yeah, which Frontier. that's just insane. Yeah, Frontier's Delphi on the run right now with a 17 point lead. I Pretty think they've definitely upped the aggressiveness on their defense. I've seen a lot of steals happen a lot more now. Yeah. From Fasulo, Millet, playing more, but definitely more aggressive, and they're seeing the outcome of that, getting a lot more points. This is, I think this is the lead they're looking for, Mason. Yeah, totally. I mean, the one thing that uh, they're, they are doing now that they weren't really doing earlier in the game, they're spreading out the score a little bit more. We saw Alex Ellis get his first points of the game just now, um, and, I mean, they are sticking with their strong scorers, though. Um, Owen Babb, the Dragon, and Millette climbing back into it. Fasulo as well. 
And right before we come back, we'd like to take a moment, thank our sponsors. Uh, tonight's FCAT Sports Broadcast is supported by Albert Hearing Services, improving lives one year at a time, and Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of the FCAT Sports. Once again, go out, say hi to my man, Happy Safford. He's working at Holiday tonight. I don't know when his shift ends, but I think it's pretty late. So go say hi to him for me and get a nice pizza. You can get a grinder. They got all kinds of stuff there. So, But meanwhile on the court, 13-point lead for the Red Hawks. Biggest lead we've seen all night. And Fasulo tips the ball. Millet gets the steal. Oh, look at this. Oh, come on. It doesn't go. Millet gets the rebound, though. Resets back out to the arc. And Morris wants a point out of this. Coach Morris looking for another score. Millet trying to draw up a play. It's Dredge with it now. Millet has Ellis in the corner but can't get the pass off. Great defense. And now going the other way, Liam Pond slows it down, picks up his dribble, back out for three. No good, and the rebound goes to Risen. Gets tangled up and he'll have to pass it out. Kalaji. He'll get two more, that's four points on the night for him. Bab, nice feed into Fasulo. Oh, look at that. Beautiful assist by Owen Bab right there. That's just some pretty basketball, Braden. Absolutely. And now Pond into the corner. He doesn't want it. Now he'll go back up to the top of the key. Pass it off back to Pond. He's up against Millet. And now Kalaji gets fouled by Dredge. Good job on him drawing that. And I think that'll be Garrett Dredge's first. Team second in the third quarter. Yeah. Frontier in a great place with fouls right now. That first shot from Kalaji is no good. Maximal is the only player. Maximal that has the most fouls on Frontier's team right now, right? And he has two, which that kind of speaks to how well they've been doing in terms of fouling in this game. Definitely. Liam Pond and Aiden Hawking on. The other side of the court are the ones with two fouls for Hampshire. Second shot by Kalaji is good. He gets five on the night. And a long pass to Fasulo in the corner. Gets covered quickly and now Ellis was looking at Modesto, both passing into Bab. Nice feed to Fasulo. Ah, oh, and he can't quite get it off to Millet. It's a good thought, but you know. Execution just wasn't quite there that time around. And now, ooh, look at this. What do you think about this, Braden? I mean, I think they're spread out really good. Nice fast break here, but unfortunately, Frontier is just coming back onto the defense now. I think Frontier is spreading out the defense really well. They're sticking on a man pretty good, just kind of like I was saying before. And I think they're seeing a little bit of a payout from that. Oh, and almost a steal there. Or maybe that was just an incredible pass. I can't tell. Picks up his dribble, got to pass it, barely gets it off. And that is going to be foul. I think it's a foul on Jarrett. Yeah. yeah, that is just moving his shoulder just a little bit too aggressively, and the ref didn't like that at all. It was right to the face of uh, Ellis, too. You know, I I gotta say I I like that call, making sure that the, no one gets their teeth knocked out or anything like Definitely, that. Definitely, yeah. Keeping keep the players safe. Absolutely. So now that's also going to be a turnover. Hawks with the ball, and now that's uh, the second foul of the third quarter. We got 153 to go. Hawks with a 12 point lead. No one scored in a few minutes, but Fasulo might change that with a three. That's gonna be a little short and no one's there for the rebound for the Red Hawks. Now Risen moving the other way. Risen met by Fasulo at the arc. Nice move, doesn't want the shot just yet. And he gets denied by Alex Ellis. What a play, Fasulo going coast to coast. Shot no good and the rebound goes to Hampshire. Long pass, Bab. Doesn't get the block, but the shot goes. For Aiden Hawking, he gets four on the night now. Millette still hasn't broken 150 yet. And now Fasulo doesn't want that three just yet. And the pass hits the rim. Ellis goes down, grabbing his leg a little bit, but on the other side of the court, Risen gets the layup. I think Ellis might be hurt. Yeah. Took an awkward fall there. Resin has now tied Owen Bab 
as leading scorer. They both have 13 on the night. And now an eight point game. Fans need to start making some noise. They're getting out cheered by the Hampshire Raiders parents. A little embarrassing, but yeah. hopefully they'll come back with the energy. And Dredge open, calls for it, Pumping. fakes the shot. Oh man, and Dr Bab, Owen, oh, Bab. Man, oh man. He's just such a dominant player in the paint, Mason. He's just so hard to stop him. So like, that goes for defense and offense. Like, what do you do against that? I, like, I couldn't tell you, Brayden. I really don't know. And a nice look here. Can he get the pass off, though? Ooh. Oh, man, what a block from Millette. Now he's moving the other way with the steal. Pass to Fasulo. Out to Dredge. Doesn't want the three. He's got Millette to his right. He'll feed it back out to him. Ten seconds to go in the third quarter. Fasulo in the air. Ooh. Oh, man. Five seconds to go. Hampshire's got a shot at a buzzer beater. Can't get the pass. Shot is off short. And there's the buzzer. So... 10 point game now. Yeah, they were able to stretch the point differential by two points. Yeah, it's I mean, starting to come back a little bit. They had a good look at some points, but Frontier has just been putting together. I mean, they had a couple droughts on the offense as well, but I gotta tell you, some a trend that we've been seeing at um, a lot of the basketball games, third quarter has been really tough for Frontier, just, you know, it's that third leg out of four, and it it kind of, the it's just the mindset, I think. Absolutely. You know, and we, we've talked about the pacing, and this is where it really catches up to them, not this game. And as good as that is, it also makes me worried about, is it going to catch up to them in the fourth quarter? You know, is that really where it's, they're going to, you know, shoot themselves in the foot, where, you know, maybe it is more affordable to, um, take a bit of a beating in the third quarter. Yeah, Mason, I mean, I feel like the third quarter is just really important in basketball because a lot of times it's a deciding factor whether a team who's down comes back or whether a team who's up just falls behind. I mean, it's just so important and a lot can happen during then. The, a lot of times what happens is the power shifts between teams. So yeah. we saw that a little bit for Frontier, but hopefully we'll see a little bit of better playing from the fourth quarter. Yeah, I mean, this time, power, like the momentum swung in the direction of Frontier this time around. And, you know, that's great for them. They got to keep it going in the next eight minutes of play. Owen Babb over there trying to hype his team up. And they got a 10-point lead right now. And all they got to do is hold on to that, extend it as much as they can, and shut down the Raiders for the next eight minutes of play. Raiders will start with the ball, and the pass goes into Risen. One-on-one -on -one with Fasulo. He'll get across half court. Pass over to Galazinski. Now Galazinski wants the lane. Wow. What a play. Just powered through. You got to respect it, man. And now Dredge calling for the ball. Millette, let's see if he sees him, takes it to the hoop. There's your 150. There it is, Mason. And now going the other way, Liam Pond in the corner. Might have had a shot there, I'm not sure. Oh, and he loses his dribble. Millet Ooh. picks it up after the dragon creates a little screen there. Will he take it to the hoop? No. Trying to pass it off? No, he just takes the shot, and he gets two more. And I think, I might have miscounted. I think that was 150. That was the 150. That was 150. I did miscount. So Millet has 150 points on the season now. Great He's job also... coming back from his concussion, and he gets Ooh. a steal off the bad pass. Goes for the layup, and wow. one. Look at that. You know, Mason, and some, there's the some six cheering man. from Frontier. Oh, boy. I mean, so far, we've only had about a minute in the third quarter or her fourth quarter, but Millette's playing pretty good. He's now leading in steals for the entire game. Just got fouled and might be able to have the chance of a three-point play here. Triple threat, man. He does get it. Bang. 11 points on the night for Max Millett. And now Liam Pond trying to get something going for the Raiders. Pass into the paint, back out. Does he want the three? No, he'll swing it over, deflected. They get the pass, and now Pond fighting through traffic. 
I think Millette might get the rejection there. Will he pass it off? No, takes it himself, and that's good. Because wow. why would he pass it off when you're Max Millette? And oh my God, what a play from Dredge. Throws it off the foot wow, of Braylon Jarrett. Oh, wow. Just absolutely dominating right now into Owen Babb, the skyscraper. Jesus. Look uh, at this. It's almost, it's almost cruel now. Look at this, man. Now the handoff to Pond. Frontier leading by nearly 20. Risen, and now the three is gonna be off from Aiden Hawking. Fasulo gonna move it the other way. Six to go. Feeds it into Bab. Oh, just a little bit off. He'll pass it over to Millette. Takes the jumper. That's good. Timeout, time Hampshire. And who's surprised about that one? A 21-point lead for the Hawks. Wow. And who would have guessed, Braden? I mean, fourth quarter start off, start off a little slow, but now it's ramped up completely, and things are have gone crazy in the past few possessions. That's safe to say. Absolutely. And, you know, the sixth man has been doing a great job. Cheerleaders hyping them up, too. They've been making a lot of noise. And, I mean, let's just go back to that play by Garrett Dredge. Oh, yeah. It wasn't – he didn't score any points, but he was doing a great job of just – I like – that's the kind of thing, you know, you're not in an opportunity to get points, but you're an opportunity to make a play for your team, and you consistently give it your all. That's why Garrett Dredge is such an incredible player for me and such a crucial player for the Hawks. Definitely. You know, all of these guys, they have their strengths, they have their weaknesses. Garrett Dredge, it, it's hard to find his weakness, I got to say, because he just lays it all out on the court every game, every chance he gets. I'm also sure, Mason, you're happy to hear the crowd cheering up on right up back there. Yeah, and that was the cheerleaders over to our right, getting them hyped up, leading a couple cheers. And they were on our feet, they were on their feet just a few moments ago. Let's see if they stand back up. Who's gonna lead the charge? Inbound gets into Risen from Pond. Trying to make a move on Fasulo. He'll get the pass off to Pond. Now Fasulo doing a great job on the press. They'll get it over to Hawking. Aiden Hawking. Crowd still sitting down. They're waiting for a big play to happen. Let's see who's going to make it. The throw over and the three is good from Braylon Jarrett as Garrett Dredd takes a bit of a tumble there. He's calling for the ball right now. He's got a bit of an opening for a three if he wants it. Ball will go the other way. Millett. Pass into Bab. Look at the feed. Man, oh man. That's 19 on the night for Owen Bab. And now look at this wow. going the other way. The pass off. And Dredd is going to get called for a foul. Here's some frontier people in the crowd <laughs> disagreeing with the calls there. Coach Morris not very happy. Don't know if it's the call or just the kind of play that Garrett Dredd is having right now, fouling in a situation like this. Because Jarrett making him pay for it. That's his eighth point. Now a 19 point game. Can he make it 18? He yes. will do just that. Wow. It's not over yet, Brady. It's not even close to over. He got five minutes to go, and Max Millette will take it up for the Red Hawks. They have an 18 point lead, but Owen Babb swings it over, Dredge for three, bang! Wow, second three of the night, I believe. Yeah. Great shot by Dredge. He is a dangerous three point shooter. No doubt about it. He's, he's the only player that I've seen this season make a four point play happen, and it was in the game against Greenfield. Don't know how he got that pass. The shot is not good, though, and Dredge gets the rebound. First rebound of the night. Another pass to Fasulo. Millette has a little bit of room, good coverage, and now Dredge into the paint. It's Bab Corner, the dragon for three. Ooh. Oh. Off the back of the rim, Fasulo brings down the rebound. Could pass it out. Millette all day. Gets fouled big time by Aiden Hawking. And now the crowd's on their feet, 62 to 41. 
How about this? Mason, I'm sure you're glad to hear the crowd cheering us on out there. Oh, yeah. I love to hear it, man. <laughs> How and, could you not? And while we're talking about the crowd, I'm expecting to see this kind of a crowd on Tuesday night. We're going to be here covering a game against uh, Lennox. Girls basketball, it's their senior night. Mm. So everyone better be showing up. Again, just as hype as this. Millet made his first shot. His second is good, and he's got one more because that was a three-point shot that he got fouled on. Crowd cheering him on. Great to hear that out there. I don't know if that was from a letter or Owen Babb who just got subbed out. <laughs> who knows? Hopefully for both. Now Millet's third. That's going to be a little short. Still a huge lead for the Hawks. It's going to be hard, hard to come back from this one from four minutes left. Oh, definitely. I mean, there's no doubt we've been seeing some great basketball from the Raiders. And look at that pass there out in the corner. Open for Aiden three. Hawking. Too Not much quite. power there. And there's the crowd again. Frontier cheering along. Liam Pond with it now. And he gets called for a travel. And we got it. A press happening, four-man press by the Raiders. Millette breaks through it all, and Modesto can't quite finish it, but now it's going the other way. Luke Howard racing back, can't get there in time. And that's Galazinski with two more, nine on the night for him. 21-point game currently with three minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock. Millette can't cash it in, fighting for the rebound, and... It'll be Frontier's ball. No, it's nope. not. I thought he said white. I thought I, I was trying to read his mouth. <laughs> and I thought he said white, but Hampshire has the ball. And now they're moving the other way. Pass forward, Pont to the other side. Good look Ooh. from Hawking, but it's taken away by Fasulo, slowing it down. Timeout's gonna be called by the Red Hawks. So with 3.07 to go, Frontier up by 21, and I mean, I didn't really expect them to pull away this much, Braden. Me either. I mean, I was hoping for them to make a comeback, but I didn't expect this much out of it. Yeah. I mean, I'm not complaining, that's for sure. Totally. I mean, Owen Babb, look, he's, it looks like he's going to have probably upwards of 20 points on the night. He has 19 right now. Max Millette just trailing him with 17 uh, and on the other side of the court, their lead scorer is Jack Rezin. He's had an outstanding game, 13 points on the night. Um, the only person who's really in foul trouble right now is um, Aiden Hawking, who has three. And, I mean, this whole – the thing I will say for both teams, they've been doing a great job uh, staying out of foul trouble. I think there's only one time where we saw a bonus happen, mm. and maybe, maybe I'm just imagining things, but <laughs> – um, both teams have done a really great job uh, playing clean tonight and uh, generally some really great calling uh, from the refs calling it you know calling it both ways which Definitely, we talked yeah. about that you know that's a great thing and making sure no one gets hurt you know that's also that's that's an even bigger thing for me and we've yeah. talked about that a lot and as they come back from the timeout really quick going to thank our sponsors one more time. Albert Hearing Services, improving lives one year at a time. They're in Greenfield, and right here in South Deerfield, just down the road is Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of FCAT Sports. Alex Ellis with the ball over to Luke Howard. The Dragon doesn't want the three, feeds it in to Millette. Doesn't go, but Ellis on the rebound. First rebound of the night. Now 66 to 43. Pass over to Galzinski. He gets the layup. He'll break 10 points on the night, gets 11. And the long pass forward to the Dragon. He gets there in time. Oh, and a great play. Just some good awareness there. We've seen that happen a couple times. Millette is going to come off now. Caden Manning coming on for him. He's making sure that one of their big guys doesn't get injured in the last couple minutes of play. Frontier pretty much calling it a game at this point. Yeah, I mean, it won't. It wouldn't be easy to come back 21 from only two minutes left. Pond 
thought about the three. His layup hits the side of the, ba the backboard. Now Caden Manning wants the three. Oh, that was a good shot there. Good look from him into Caden Manning. That gets punched out of the way by Aiden Hawking. And now Pond, the jumper, no good. Hawking on the rebound, that's gonna be wide as well. And Vince Carr fighting for it, will go down. Caden Manning all day if he wanted that shot, didn't take it. And now the Dragon for three in the corner. Oh, Ooh. in and out. I gotta say some great aggressive playing from Frontier's uh, second string players. Timeout gonna be called by Hampshire. Evidently, they still think it's a game. Coach Morris would disagree, though, I think. So, 137 to go. Let's see, what's what's the lead we're looking at? We're looking at 21 points for Frontier right now. Man. So, yeah, it wouldn't you're, be you're the easiest comeback of a... I mean, all you got to do is seven threes in a row in, in oh, 97 yeah. seconds. That's nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing too hard. <laughs> yeah. And I don't, you know, just watching them do it, like performing right in front of us right now. I don't think we talk about the cheerleaders enough, Braden. They're, no. We haven't had them in the past couple of years, and they're bringing a whole new level to uh, this uh, basketball game. They don't, uh, I don't think that they show up for the girls' games. Maybe they'll show up for senior night, though. You never know. Um, and now I think that the Raiders might be Throwing it into at this point, they're putting in some of their second string players. Yeah, I've seen some players who I haven't seen yet on the court finally yeah. have an appearance now. So, Let's see if I can get their names right here. So, gonna throw it in. Dolly Wall is there, and then Hawking hands it off to Boyle. Now, back with it is Plummer. Ben Plummer. Looking for the pass off. Daliwa. Looking for a shot. Gets the pass off. Spin move. Driving to the baseline. Gets it in. Ooh. Oh, and stuffed by the Dragon. And oh, look at the steal here from Hawking. His layup doesn't go. And oh, what a rejection from Sasha Dragicevic. Coast to coast. Yes. Wow. What a play by Frontier, Mason. What a play. Under a minute to go, and that's <laughs> nailing the coffin right there, man. I mean, I mean, you can see the Frontier crowd cheering us on right now. Good God. I'm 68 to 45. Shot clock is still on, so Frontier can't quite dribble it out just yet. Manning for three. Ooh, oh, wow. Man. Mason, I will say, Caden Manning is one of the better three-point shooters on the team. He's a great player. I've seen him play. He plays for JV and varsity, I believe, right? Yes, he does. He's got a great eye at the three-point line. And now Frontier with over 70 points. This is incredible. And now, and now Frontier now cheering for Hampshire, I believe, if you heard that right. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, they cheer they're cheering for Hampshire. For Hampshire. Manning will dribble it out, and that is going to be the game, the second highest scoring game of the season for the Red Hawks. 71 points to Hampshire's 45. Looks like a close game for the three for three of the four quarters, and Frontier, they kind of pulled away in the third quarter and just really sealed the deal in the fourth. They really came back in the fourth quarter. I mean, man, oh man, what a point difference there, and... What a statement, four wins in a row for the boys, and what a win for them, 71-45, and that's their seventh win, and now they have six losses, so they have that over 500 win percentage that they wanted so badly. First time of their season that they have that, and hopefully, I mean, that'll move them up in the power rankings too, so, you know. Definitely, I mean, I think they really needed this win, and I think they, showed how much they wanted this win by playing at their hearts out really. I mean, it really showed in the fourth quarter especially. I mean, Absolutely. they played amazing in the fourth quarter. And I mean, some will say it's bad sportsmanship, but I think that it's just good mentality. Even if, even though you are, you're, you're winning by a good amount, just, you know, keeping that energy there uh, the whole game, even when you're, you know, you're one of the second string players and you're, um, 
you know, you don't get a lot of playing time. Just trying to have your moment on the court, make a play for your team, all that sort of thing. And so, you know, they did a great job with that uh, in this game tonight. So um, the lead scorer, the big scorer, the two big scorers for the Red Hawks tonight are going to be Max Millet, who had a bit of a rough start but gets a lot of points in the second half. He had 17 points on the night, taking the lead just above him is 19 points. Owen Babb having an absolutely incredible night. Millet, um, he broke 150 on the night. Some notable players as well. 10 points, Nico Fasulo, Sasha Dragon with 12. Plenty of threes from him. Cade Manning hitting that three at the end too. And Garrett Dredge all around. Great game for him. He had six on the night. And Alex Ellis with four. On the other side of things, Jack Rezin going to be the lead scorer for the Raiders with 13. Five points for Kaloji. Braden Jarrett, Braylon Jarrett, excuse me, with nine. Two points for Liam Pond, even though I got to give him a little more credit than that. He was making a lot of things happen on the court. Uh, some great passing, good vision on the court for his team. Aiden Hawking with four points. And then Adam Galazinski with 11. And you can tell us a little bit about the rebounds and steals, Brain, which was a huge factor in this very defensive game, especially at the start. Absolutely. I mean, Frontier in the end was leading in rebounds. I mean, we had a few leaders for Frontier. We had Nico Fasula with five. Same thing with Max Millet also having five. And then the leader for the game, or for Frontier mainly, was Owen Babb with eight. And then matching that, Jake Rezin also had eight rebounds. And then they spread it out amongst the team a little more. Liam Pond had five rebounds. Ben Pierce had two. Aiden Hawking with three, and then Vince Carr also with three. Yeah, it was a really great game. Some really awesome rejections from some of the big guys out there for the Red Hawks. Uh, Sasha got a couple at the end, and a skyscraper, Owen Babb, just really making things yeah. happen out there, both ends of the court. He might be, uh, I think, the key player in the game tonight for uh, the Red Hawks, sealing the deal. Huge win for them 71 to 45. I've been Mason Smith here with Braden Reefold, Ben Roberts, Tyler Wolkowitz, Tom Aller, Kevin Murphy, Isaac Wormgore, Max Wormgore, all the rest of the FF crew. Thank you all so much for tuning in.